excited about this. This is a bed of carrots that I seeded by hand because I lost the seed plate for my little earthway seeder and they are doing quite excellent. As you can see, I weeded this half of the bed earlier this week. I'm gonna weed this part now. It stopped raining, thankfully. I'm excited for that. Here is some volunteer kale, which is just look, look at all that life and vibrancy there. This is uh, red Russian kale or Russian red kale. Mm. Super good, super tasty, especially when it's small. With that, do some weeding here and go pick some Asian pear. Finished weeding that bed of carrots. This is a bed full of potatoes, Yukon gold, up until somewhere in here. Then the rest is uh, island sunshine, I believe. So we're going to dig up some Yukon gold to use in some soups later in the week. I'll show you what that looks like once I do that. Alright, here's our little potato haul for now. I'm not picking a crazy amount, just what we need. And you keep them in the bed, dig them up till you need them. Obviously, if you let it go too late, they'll just grow potatoes for the next season. But this will definitely be nice enough for a nice little batch of soup. These are Yukon Gold potatoes, probably our favorite, hence one of the reasons we are growing them. Here we are harvesting two varieties of Asian pear. See the bigger spotted one, smaller one, the bigger spotted one came from this tree. Not as much fruit. This is the first year this tree is fruited. Second year for this one. And this one, as you can see, absolutely positively loaded. And I've been picking off this tree for a couple weeks now. So this is the fruit from the other tree. Just for a little comparison, you can see these look different. So, I just watched the video on how to harvest pears. The person was doing was bending the fruit up 45 degrees. If it snaps off, that's right. Let's see. There you go. That looks pretty right. We'll see. We'll see. So, we already got our little bucket full here of two varieties. I still have more to pick from that tree and then I have another tree of the same variety in the back so we're gonna go put this in a box empty this and we'll see when we're picking some more boom check it out that was just from that little bucket still got a lot more I'm almost a whole freaking flat full of some of the most nutrient dense fruit on the planet some garlic to bring home for the soup. Let's go pick some more pears. Alright, I'm back out here at this fully loaded Chojiro Asian pear. Doing a little quality control. And we have yet another full bucket. Right, I think I got most of the ri fairly ripe ones. Can't really reach all the ones at the top. It's okay. On to the next one. So here we are at the second Chojiro. This one was planted before that other one, but gotten munched down a couple times by deer when our fence wasn't as good as it should be. But one of the benefits of that is all the fruit is within reach of my hands, which is pretty sweet. Big ass cottonwood tree. And the rain is stopped. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Second bucket full. So that's three so far. There's the Asian pear. This is a European pear. As you can see, they look quite a bit different. This is an unnamed variety. And I was actually planning on getting rid of this tree if it didn't make any fruit this year because this has been here maybe a good five or six years. And lo and behold, 
and made some fruit. So you're gonna stay here and we're gonna pick some of these and see our fruit taste and then we're gonna go harvest in the greenhouse. So much food to pick. That is not a bad thing though, obviously. This is the harvest so far. You obviously saw that flat earlier. Here's the two buckets of mainly Asian pears with a couple of European pears mixed in. You can obviously tell the ripe ones somewhat from the unripe just from color. That's going to be a lot sweeter and juicy than this one, which is still quite green. I'm assuming I probably grabbed this one because it was on the ground, but you can just see the contrast. There's still more to pick, so let's get out there. So we're back out at this European pear, again an unknown variety. And the good thing with about the good thing about European pears compared to Asian pears, you can pick these when they're not completely ripe and they'll ripen off the tree, which is nice. I just watched a little video from Rain Tree Nursery. So you just bend it up like that, about 45 degrees, so it comes off. And it's ripe, so we're gonna get of these in our bucket and then go into the greenhouse. Not gonna be able to reach all of these, but I'm gonna be back out here probably on Thursday to get more of these and then I'll also get the ones in that Asian pear tree over there that I can't reach by hand today. But what a amazing little place we've created out here. First bucket full of European pears today, but fifth bucket total. Again, the other four were Asian pears, and these aren't ready yet, but I just wanted to show you because these are also really beautiful and really good when you get them ripe. These are persimmons, it's chocolate or coffee cake variety. Um, they kind of get a orangish color when they're ripe. There's actually, you can see, not very well because of the shadow, but see that one starting to turn a little orangish? That's what you want to see. That's, that's a good sign, but there's quite a bit of fruit on here, and we have two more persimmons that are also fruiting this year, but the gifts just keep on coming. Look at this. So here's another Asian pear. I believe this is a different variety. See, it's a little bit further along, smaller height wise, but absolutely positively, ah, sticker bush, loaded with persimmons. Just boom, 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 just all over the place. This is surrounded by one mint plant. You only need one because it will absolutely take over. So there's the European pears, another variety. Asian pears, two different varieties, mostly chichuro. Some potatoes, and then I put some garlic in the car. I might get a ladder, go pick some more of these, and maybe Asian pears. Definitely gonna pick some tomatoes and Asian peppers in the greenhouse. Ah, I've got a few cucumbers picked here. The thing with cucumbers, you gotta really make sure you pick them at the right time. You don't want them to sit on the vine too long because this one may be too good, but I feel like, eh, probably not. This one will be good for sure. You can just tell. Same with that one as well, but you gotta make sure you pick these at the right time. A little caterpillar friend in here. And then now, gonna pick some tomatoes. These are the cucumbers. We grow both the cucumbers tomatoes vertically up these strings, attach them with these plastic clips. Been doing that for a couple years and it works quite well. Well, this bucket's already full, mainly of uh, cucumbers as you can see. And some tomatoes. Still more tomatoes. Look at just the color of those. Trippy. Still more tomatoes to pick, so on to the next bucket. Here a little hummingbird. Oh, hummingbird. Can you see that? Damn it. Where'd you go? 
just had a hummingbird in here. That was really cool. I wasn't why I was doing this, but biting into a nice, juicy, crunchy cucumber that you just picked. Nothing quite compares. This is a Corinto variety. So good. This is food related. I just think this spider right here. Fucking blurry as fuck, of course. Luckily, I'm getting a lot of corn, so just chilling. And it's net. Right here, I'm moving a little bit. I mean, it's a little web up here on this. These tomatoes. Pretty cute. Ah, look at the color of these tomatoes. No filter, even. So, sun gold. These are by far and away my favorite. Let's see where they get their names. Sun, gold, like little brights of sunshine. Delicious. You got these little bigger red ones. I think this is New Girl or Mountain Magic. And then Indigo Cherry Drops. You can see why they're called that. Not the best flavor. I just really like the color of them. So that's kind of why we grow this variety. But that might be it today for the garden plot. Back out here on Thursday. Here's our greenhouse. Definitely needs a new coat of plastic this winter. There's our little tool shed. Beautiful clouds, but so good. Highly encourage you to get into growing food. If you're not, whatever way works for you and your family. Highly recommend it. Look, I mean, Jesus Christ, how could you not enjoy this? Look at that. Boop. Back to where we started, the bed of carrots. Not from our weeding, but to pick some of this kale because we're gonna be having this kind of taco salad type of thing tonight. So we'll cut up tomatoes, kale, cucumbers, put it in it, and then it'll be delicious and nutrient dense and what's not to love about that all right signing off well actually i might do a little video picture of total harvest once we get back to our other stuff there's today's harvest so basically today i did a little bit of weeding carrot a carrot bed of carrots a half a bed and the rest was spent picking European pears, two varieties of Asian pears, a little bit of potatoes, some kale that we're going to use tonight, some tomatoes and cucumbers. We're going to use tonight, got all of them obviously, but boom. Look at that. So beautiful. Grow your own food. Highly, highly recommend it.